insanely high water level. It's not unusual what you say with anyone. But if I ever find that you've changed at any time. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Okay, today is another proof of quality test of the Miele W562 Prestige Plus 6 washing machine. Okay, so I did mention in my video, I, my previous videos of this machine, I was going to do an unbalanced low test. Now what this is basically doing, I've got this pillowcase and filling it with some towels. At the moment we've got four towels, one large, one small, uh, no, one medium and two small. Well, no, sorry, two medium and one small. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in an elastic band and we're going to wet these. Just put it on the start of a cotton cycle. Then I'm going to fast forward it to the spin because obviously on the cotton cycle it does a very long tumble. Now what we're doing here, I've got, some, about, I've got three more towels on that side over there. And what we're going to do is we're going to test just how much it will take to get this machine to basically jump. How much unbalanced can a Miele suspension take before actually because you know Miele suspension has got a lot of resistance to it so what we want to test is just how much give this or how much resistance has the suspension got on a Miele compared to other machines so what obviously that's going to do it's going to ball it up so I'll just put it on the start of a Cotton's 40 hang on, put on this, Cotton's 40 cycle and we'll just let it tumble a bit then what I'm going to do is put it on the spin. And we're going to have it from two angles. So you've got the camera here, and we've got my iPad over on that side, which is going to capture the if the machine moves. It probably will, and what we're going to do, we're going to add this, and then we're going to add another, we're going to add just the, the rest, and we're going to see. No, I'll add one towel by one towel at a time. Really, I mean, this hasn't, camera hasn't really got much battery left, sadly. So I'll just get the first tumbled. And then, uh, yeah, this, this will really prove the quality of a Miele machine because this is, you know, testing the different suspension that it's got. If I remember correctly, it took me about six towels to actually get it to jump and sometimes it doesn't even do it, sometimes it just go bang and it won't move, but it'll, it'll, it'll shake a little bit. Nothing like the Creeder today. So that's just enough, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm only going to video when it actually I know it is going to spin because it'll take about probably 10 attempts. Okay, now we're going into the distribute now. Obviously, I think that's gonna, it's gonna try and distribute into a roll it. It's actually gonna do a shorter distribute, because uh, it's, now that's rolling, that is rolling. That's what you need. As long as the rubber band doesn't come out, which I think is what's happened, then all the towels will just spill everywhere. See what it's done, it's rolled it out now, there, so it's, yeah, I think that's, that rubber band's come out. Oh no, it's, it's not rolling it as much. Oh no, it is doing the longer tumbles. Because that's configured it. Right, here we go. It's going to stop and rebalance. There we go. If not, I'll just continue the video on the iPad. So I have to do a video in video with this, won't I? Like, okay. I've noticed the machine is now giving up and just going into the shorter distribute. Oh, that might have gone past the point of no return, no? Yes? 
Right, so that's the first level of unbalance. Uh, not really much movement from the machine at all. I'll just keep that there. Okay, that's an average spin then. That's, a, that's your average unbalance for the towel wash. So let the machine speed up. It might not reach full speed of 900 because it's done quite a few balancing attempts. What I'm going to do is I'm going to continue it on the iPad because the camera's not going to have enough to continue. What I really should have is, is the iPad on the floor actually. Yeah, I should have the iPad on the floor doing that. And what I can see, there's literally not much vibration at all. Just a little bit. But it might be because my floor is ever so slightly soft. And the machine isn't, like, it's probably about 98%, 98.8% 98 level. It's slightly offside. No, there is actually no, that's 900 now. You can see that. Zooming in with the iPad now, just to see. No, nothing. Right. Right, that's the first part done with uh, four towels in there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to basically restart the cycle. Take that rubber band out. I might have to put a new rubber band because that's probably going to snap. I know that a lot of these, these are very cheap rubber bands. They don't take to being untied and retied again very nicely. And you just see the stress marks on there. It's a bit wet. Okay, we'll add this one. This is quite a heavy towel when it gets wet. We're going to add that one now. That's your average like body towel. In fact, we only have larger like bath sheets or uh, beach towels, but beach towels are a little bit lighter. But in most of the towel wash videos that I do, they are what are responsible for sending the machine out of balance. Because we have an unhealthy mix of Nice in that though. Right. Just All right, give that a rinse then. So it's good fun. It's perfectly normal. It's not as if I'm putting anything in the machine that I shouldn't be, it's just your average load of towels. To be honest, this machine seems more unbalanced than anything. Really? Well, what I'm doing is I'm just going to, I'm quickly adding, like, it, some more water. Let me, what we need is, like, a deep level rinse. That's what I'm going to do for the last, when I fully fill that pillowcase. I'm going to pull it on, like, a high level rinse. Because if I can make the low sort of paddle a bit more, that might help. See, they're already absorbed now, so that'll be tumbling full level water. Be interesting to see what happens now. So I'm just adding a bit more water in to see what happens. I might help doing that. And again, just let it do one more tumble and I'll put it on the spin. There, see? Okay. Right, bit of bad news, the rubber band that I used now snapped. She is now redundant as a rubber band. However, we're going to speed up the test because it's going to take too long. I'm literally just going to put these two in. The only thing is, the laundry in there is absolutely soaking. What I might do is I'll just give it all a bit of a... Hold on, let me bring it all out onto this towel. And give it all a bit of a shuffle. I think that's what's happened. It's all gone a bit doolally in there. That's a doolally is the, is the same that my family use. Gone a bit doolally. <laughs> What I'll do, I'll put the smaller towel in there, and the larger towel 
Right. This is the ultimate, like, this is the most unbalanced that I'm going to put in here. So this is probably what's going to cause this thing to go out of control. Not out of control, but it'll just, it'll only reach about 850 RPM. That's what I normally think that they reach. I'm going to twist that round. But trying to exert too much force. They're not like the... They're not like the, the, the tough rubber bands that we have at British Heart Foundation. I should have used one of them, actually. Gosh, they can take me pulling them. Because obviously I've got to tie the electricals up in a hurry sometimes. And they can take a lot of pull for them. I don't think I've ever actually sat one, to be honest. <laughs> then again, our one's just as good. I think just... Right, in you go. Get some water in. Get some water in, tumble that around. Might have to let it tumble a bit more actually, might have to fill it up quite a bit. It's just to spread it all out a bit. Should put on the easy care cycle. But then again, it's maybe not worth wasting all that water just for a little bit of fun. Actually. Right, here we are, the ultimate unbalanced bin. I've just got to hope that it all blankets itself together. I think that's going to roll actually. Maybe this is just a, this just does a long unidirectional tumble so maybe yeah it will shape it into a ball. I think we're going to go successful. Yeah that's rolling. Come on Millie. Don't let me down. Don't let all your fans down. I'm going to this back just in case it does jump. This could be one of the first ones I've actually caught on camera. Well, I did actually catch a one on. See what she did. Don't let us down, Millie. <coughs> Here we go. She's swaying. Oh, I can really Right, we're going to give the final spin a go because it does a shorter distribution. Maybe that's what it needs. Now, a balance sensor isn't too sensitive on this, but it is still it still is going to be engaged. All oh, right. Oh my gosh, we're going. We're rolling. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> Attempting the final spin. My phone's down there uh, so it can record the foot of the machine and actually capture any slight movements. That's why I've got the flashlight on. She just gave up the previous burst. Come on, Millie. Oh my gosh. Whoa! That is the most unbalanced spin I've ever caught. But, I'll hand it to the machine, it only, it didn't jump, it just moved forward. It didn't actually lift off the floor. Now, let me just, hang on, let me do something quickly. Can I stop the machine? I'm going to just take all these towels out now, and I'm just going to let them spin, give them a good final spin, if I can find that. <laughs> that was brilliant! But I mean, it's only moved this far.